So it's not uh, the end of the day yet. It is lunchtime, but I don't know that I will remember or care enough to record a video this afternoon. So here's what we get. Coronavirus, it's everywhere. We're all gonna die. Now folks, do your research. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what coronavirus is or is not, but just please do your research. Do not believe everything you see or read or hear on the television or internet. Um, if you have questions, ask your doctor. And if you don't like what they have to say, then I don't know what to tell you, but they're the professionals. <coughs> I am not a medical professional. But I do know that just because someone coughs or sneezes does not mean that we are all doomed. Okay, take care of yourselves. Take your vitamins, eat healthy meals, get plenty of sleep. All the things that you can do to keep yourself healthy and you will stay healthy. Simple as that. Um, obviously, as large public venues and schools begin to close and uh, prepare for this impending apocalypse that we have before us, People start to get a little insecure or afraid or worried. I've already talked about being worried. It's not something that's worth doing because there's nothing to be worried about until the thing actually happens. And once it's happened, you don't have to be worried about it. Um, but I talked with my students today about how to just keep yourself clean and healthy and all those things. And um, hopefully squelched some of the fears or misinformation that they've had, excuse me, or been pre presented with in the recent past. Um, that being said, one of the funny things is, is I remind my students, obviously, especially in a situation like this, to wash their hands before going to lunch and when they come back in from recess and after touching a keyboard or mouse or something like that, they should always, you know, wash their hands. And what's funny to me is even as fifth graders, even as 10 year olds, like if I ask my four year old if she washed her hands, she's almost always going to say yes. And then we almost always have to check either if her hands are damp or smell like soap. Um, she's pretty good about it though. She, she's not one that tries to pull the wool over your eyes yet. She hasn't quite learned how to get away with that yet. So uh, she either does it or she doesn't. But what's funny is like today, just as the kids were leaving for lunch, I told them, please wash your hands before you go to the cafeteria. And almost all of them either grabbed a squirt of hand sanitizer or went to the bathroom, um, which, you know, I'm not going to stand there beside them and wash their hands for them. But there were a handful that say, oh, I just did. Or I washed my hands uh, before I came to see you. Or I, I grabbed hand, hand sanitizer when I left so-and-so's classroom. And those are the people that I don't trust. <laughs> the first ones to tell you that they did it are probably the ones that didn't do it. So just keep that in mind. Um, the people that take care of themselves and, and are clean and healthy are the ones that are not going to tell you that they are clean and healthy. The people that are constantly making sure to remind you that they've taken all the precautionary steps probably haven't taken all the precautionary steps. Just like the person that farted in the room or the person that says they didn't fart is most likely the person that did. So take that for what it's worth and I will talk to you tomorrow.